What's up, Movie Trivia Shmoron fans? It's me again. I'm back for another Shmodan reaction video. This is, uh, is going to be an interesting one. It's Griffin Newman, which I believe was the number one draft pick for Gucci in the draft, versus Mark Edward Hoik. Definitely one of the more interesting and enigmatic characters in the Shmodan so far. I love watching him play, and I'm also terrified of watching him talk. So, uh... Yeah, this is going to be an interesting one. Um, I mean, Alex Marzoni is a very big fan of uh, um, Griffin Newman, and uh, he, if, if he says this guy is good, then uh, who am I to disagree? But I'm going to go with the more experienced uh, player, which is Mark Hoyk, but I don't know. I mean, so far the, the exchange hasn't had many losses this year, and uh, it's going to be very interesting to see where they end up by the end of the year. In any case, uh, I will also be participating in the match, as I mentioned. And let's jump into Mark Hoyk versus Griffin Newman. Here we go. Welcome back to the movie Trivia Schmodown. I'm Christian Harloff, joined, as always, by Mark Baby Carrots Ellis. Mark, the singles division, it was the division that built the movie Trivia Schmodown. And there are so many great competitors who have come through the Schmodown walls, if you will. But now, these new rookies who've been coming in, the new prospects, we hear things. We hear things about how great they're going to be, how good they can be. And we've also seen people who have been in before who just need that particular moment to shine. And I think we have both of those types of competitors today. Doesn't really matter if you're a returning veteran back on the Schmodown stage or if you are one of those incoming rookies, neither one wants to be like a certain dog in the Schmodown and crap the bed because they're both looking for a big W early on in season eight. It's war, Christian. We're about to see it go down between Mark Hoyk and a very mysterious, but not as mysterious as Hoyt maybe, but newcomer, Griffin Newman. That's right, downtown Griffin Newman and the enigma, Mark Hoyk. Now, Mark Hoyk is, was drafted by corruption last year and it was like, well, that's a perfect fit. And okay. then you see what he did in the horror free for all. He had that one team's match with uh, with Dewberry, but sh him and Shannon have this relationship. Like Shannon, it, it, he, he the energy fits corruption. He's perfect for corruption. So what happens? She drafted him again. And she's been very clear. This is the year that Hoyk makes his run. He's never played in the singles division before. This is his first singles match. He's played in oh, teams no, before. Really? So now here he is playing in the singles division. He wants a chance to shine. Griffin Newman was the first overall pick by the Finstock Exchange. Now you look at what both Ty Lieberman, the tyrant, just did with his TKO victory yesterday. And, of course, Rick Raddus, uh, who had his victory, and gold leader. So, right now, they are really, really playing smooth. What I hear about this guy, downtown Griffin Newman, whether you listen to his podcast, you know him from his his, his role on the, on the tick, or whether or not he's in the upcoming Kevin Smith show, Masters of the Universe, as Orko, for God's sakes. So, what? he's got a profile. But the question is, what is he going to do in the movie Trivia Schmodown? We're about to find out in just a second. Yeah, if, if I was Newman, I might just skip right over that horror free-for-all we had last year because you see something like that, you see what Hoyk is capable of, and that's just in the realm of horror. What can we do with all the other categories you might see in round one or round two on the wheel? And so there's a little bit of gamesmanship going on here already, but we're about to get into all that has gone into leading to today, and that is... Thanks to Nerd Chronic, here's a promo. Aw, uh, hi guys, did you miss me? It's okay, I didn't miss you either. Uh, <laughs> I see what you're doing here, and I think it's like, okay, but you're all kind of really stupid, and trying to take my plan and capitalize on it so that you might have a shot at winning isn't gonna work out as well for you as it did for me because 
we're better than you. Without further ado, I'd like to reintroduce Mark Hoyk. Welcome to my dungeon. <laughs> Stuff of nightmares, isn't it? Well, the Schmodown's worst nightmare is about to take place because Shannon Barney has delivered to me what nobody else in this carnival of fools has been able to give since I first arrived. And that is a one-on-one -on -one singles match. Stock Exchange, back in the winner's circle per the usual. But now, with our number one draft pick, the heavy hitter. He has the last name of my favorite mailman. The guy's name is Griffin Newman. This Hello, is downtown Newman. Griffy Newman's of the Finstock Exchange reporting to you from where else but gently hovering above downtown New York City. <laughs> Background conversations, if you will, that there's been some, some quiet talk about him. I wasn't sure what to make of it. This man is so good at trivia, he had to retire. Now, admittedly, I don't know much about Griffin Newman. All I know is that he was the number one draft pick for the Finstock Exchange, and people say that he is scary good. Well, guess what? I deal with scary so much that it's an aphrodisiac now. You do not know the forces that were conspiring against me. I have told the Schmodown universe that evil is patient, and now patience has been rewarded. So there will always be a portion of my person that will resist the notion of management because a mercenary knows all too well that a leash quite quickly turns into a noose. He doesn't like to be controlled, so I don't control him. I just give him room to grow and spread and rule. Mark Edward Hoyk, what is there to say? Your initials spell out my feelings perfectly. Meh. Griffin Newman was an unknown, but we knew it. He was in the dossier, but nobody saw it. So Once Chris should realize how strong Griffin Newman was, he's like, well, I can't put him just up against a rookie. I need to give him a real challenge. I'm here to take W's. L's, never heard of them. Last L I ever took was when I got fired from a network sitcom. Two seasons and then it got canceled. You don't frighten me, and you certainly don't frighten Mark Edward Hoyk. You want to know why? Because y'all aren't scary. You're just weird. This dungeon is still two stories above the sub basement of irrelevancy that I am going to be sending you to, Griffin Newman, once we've met and once we've ended. In fact, those don't even count as L's. Those L's were legends. And this right now is the start of the canon, because I got one goal tonight, to beat the beat, the geeks, geek. Catch me at the end of the year, when this guy's holding the belt. So know this, after we're done, Griffin Newman, I am going to be cutting you out of championship contention with rusty scissors. When this is over, you will respect the Hoyk. You will respect Shannon Barney. You will respect corruption. And when corruption wins the faction championship for the second time, maybe then the Schmodown will show me the respect of spelling my name right on a t-shirt. E-U-C-K. Respect that. promo was scarier than most horror movies I've seen. Now granted, I haven't seen a lot. Yeah, still. like I said, there is a lot of hype on Griffin Newman. He was the number one pick of the Finstock Exchange. Our own Alex Marzonia, who told me two years ago, you need to get this guy into the league. This is before we went digital. He's like, you need to get this guy into the league. He's going to be great. He's going to be great. Kaiser goes, That's I listen I to this guy's show all the time. How come this guy's not in the league? Marzonia says it right before the draft happens. Is Griffin Newman in the in the draft? I said, holy crap, I got to reach out to Griffin Newman. He said, I'm in. Put me in there. And who would have thought that the Finstock exchange would be the home he went to? But he's not. He does not have an easy match here today for his debut. Mark Hoyk 
is one of those guys. Beat the Geeks. You know him from all of these things of what he's done in his past. He is a he's a, he's on the championship squad of corruption. He wants to be he wants to do more. He wants to have a run. He wants that championship. So this is going to be a great battle. I, I'm excited for it. I'm pumped, man. Our friends at Movies Anywhere bring your favorite movies together, and we have some questions about those movies, and it's going to be a good match today. New guard, old guard, let's see how it shakes out. Yes, and while we're at it, let's tell you a little bit about Movies Anywhere. All right, and with that, we are ready to go, Mark. How about yourself? Prepared, ready to read questions. Ladies and gentlemen, it's time for the Movie Trivia Schmogdown! Introducing first, representing the Finsuck Exchange, making his Schmodown debut, downtown Griffin Newman! There he is, look at that, look at you, are you, are you sitting subway no this is my apartment i'm at home oh that's fair uh listen griffin did we we've mentioned you had been mentioned to be in this league before talked yeah. about it yeah. why this year and why dagnino and the exchange uh great i'll answer both of your questions uh first off this year because you asked me this year and didn't ask me previous years uh second of all dagnino and the exchange because they drafted me and the other teams didn't get a chance to Fair question. All right, Griffin, but this Hoyt guy you're going up against, I mean, he can go from cringer to battle cat pretty quick. Have you studied him at all? Do you know anything about the Enigma heading into the match? Look, I watch the horror free for all. You know, I understand that he's a fierce competitor, but you have to understand that uh, I have an advantage that uh, most of the other players in the league don't have. People can study their opponent and perhaps watch a couple months worth of matches, a couple years worth of matches. I've been studying this guy for decades. He made a massive mistake doing Beat the Geeks in the early 2000s because this guy has too much tape out there and I know him. I know him now, I see him for who he is. Also, I have to correct both of you quickly. Uh, you said my name is Downtown Griffin Newman. Uh, that's the name my parents uh, gave me. My chosen name is Downtown Griffin Nooms. That's how I'd like to be referred to for the rest of this, uh, this season. Griffy Nooms. Okay, Griffy, Griffy right. Nooms, please. Downtown right. Griffy Nooms. All right. Well, Griffy Nooms, let me ask you this. Uh, last question before we bring in Hoy. Those pink gloves seem to be a gift from Gucci. Is that accurate, or did you get those somewhere else? Look, great minds think alike. That's all I'm going to say. That's all I'm going to say here. All right. Keep the gloves up because we're going to get and the opponent in just a moment. On the and the character. his opponent, opponent. representing corruption. Making his singles debut, he is the Enigma, Mark Edwards! Oh! Mark, Mark, sir, it seems as if you just won, or came very close to winning the free-for-all horror last season. And now you're here, your singles debut. It's crazy. You've never played in a singles match thus far. What was the conversation like with Shannon saying, I want to play in singles? It boiled down to, I want to play in singles. And she said, yes. Fair enough, Jordan, yeah, yeah, yeah. to the point. Yeah. Where are you right now, Mark? We asked a little bit about Griffy Noobs in his living quarters. Is that your current dwelling? Yes, it is. I've spent many a night in dank confines as these, memorizing and retaining my knowledge of all things cinematic. Now, Griffin may say there's too much tape on me and that there's nothing on him, and that he's an unknown quantity. But the fact is, I've known quantities like Griffin all my life. The Johnny come lately that comes in and thinks that they can get one over on me. Well, Griffin, you're not first, you're not last, you're just next. Wow. Interesting. I think Griffy's going to be upset that you kept calling him Griffin. But here we go. Here is the. I feed off that. I feed off that. All right, so our competitors are back in the virtual battlefield, Mark. Round number one is about to begin. 
How's it go? Four studs on one screen. And now it's the rules of round number one. Eight questions will be asked to the field of competition. Each question's worth one point. As soon as Christian or myself asks said question, you have 15 seconds to write down your best attempt at an answer with whatever surface you prefer, using whatever tensile you like. Once we ask you by name or nickname or nickname or actual birth name that your parents later changed, please show what you wrote to the camera at the same time you verbalize your attempt into the microphone. Each competitor has three usages of the JTE rule, who I believe has the subway right across from Griffey Noobs is as his home. If you're not sure you heard a question right, you want to buy yourself another 15 seconds, simply use a JTE rule. You can also say repeat, a JTI rule. We're pretty loose on that. You also each have one challenge to be utilized at any point throughout the three round match. If something seems fishy and answer seems out of order, use a challenge. We'll bring in your manager, they'll deliberate, and they will ultimately confirm and ratify if said challenge is taking place. Christian, got some sunglasses. We got uh, some sort of feline mask. The Hoik maybe wears. I don't want to get any deeper into these guys' backstory. Let's just play some movie trivia. Mr. Hoik, are you ready? I am ready. Griffey, are you ready? Never been more ready in my life. Then let's get ready to showdown. Round number one. Question number one. We start in the realm of movie quotes. In which 1996 comedy will you find the following line? Why don't you just go home? That's your home. Are you too good for your home? Answer me. Man, it's kind of like you were yelling at me. Like I am home. This is where I live. This is a normal place people live. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, hands up, please. Pens down, hands up. And we start with Mark. Home alone? Happy Gilmore. Yes. Oh, Griffey. yeah. No, no, We're all coming to sense. America. I whiffed. All right. So Newman goes down there. It is 1-0 oh, at nice? the moment. And now we get to, to our next question. Fun fact. Happy Gilmore available on movies anywhere. Your next question in the world of fantasy science fiction. And it is, who plays the lead role of United States Marine Corps Staff Sergeant Michael Nance in 2011's Battle Los Angeles? Remember this one? Remember, this was one of the first ones we reviewed. I remember getting a lot of popcorn and bringing it into the theater and not remembering that it was Staff Sergeant, but that's important Five, in the showdown. Four, it is. I know. Three, I remember two, Gina Rodriguez was one. in the movie, but Hands I don't remember Griffey. the other guy. Aaron Eckert. Yes. And Mark. Joel Kinnaman. All right. Tie game. Just like that. Just like that. One, one. Uh, and we get to question number three, action adventure. Dr. Richard Kimball is framed for the murder of his wife in which 1993 film by director Andrew Davis? Eh, I think I'm going to sit this funny. one it's out. It's like they're both first match in the singles, right. and it's like it, feels, it almost feels like a number one contender match. And five. Spicy. Yep. Four. Three. Two. One. Oh, pens no. down. Mark. Witness. The Fugitive. Okay. Yes. And Griffey. The Fugitive. We're all tied up, and now we get to our next question mark. Question the other four. One, the That's three. right. Any in house, out house, dog house, you know the line. Your next category is in the world of animated movies. Could be drawn by hand or on a computer or stop motion animation, that sort of thing. Here's the query for a point Andy Samberg, Jennifer Aniston, and Kelsey Grammer lent their voices to what 2016 animated film from directors Nicholas Stoller and Doug Sweetland? Speaking of sweets, I happen to remember the Movies Anywhere gang before the pandemic brought us a bunch of donuts from Krispy Kreme. Yes. Yum. Five. Oh, four. Three. They were hot. Two. One. Pens down, please. And Griffin. Storks. Yes. Okay, Mark. never mind. Rio. So Newman goes up here. Three, two. Three, two. As we get to our next question. I next question here. Sports. This is question number five. Joe Wright directed Kira Knightley, Rosamund Pike, and Matthew McFadden in what film based on a Jane Austen novel? Uh, you know who else was in Storks? Yes, I do, and I was upset that he wasn't in the question. Our buddy Stephen Glick Kramer Glickman. That's right. And five. Funny guy. Four. PJ's Fire. Three. Two. Yeah. One. Pens 
down, please. Pens down, please. And Mark. Pride and Prejudice. Yes, Griffey. Pride and Prejudice. That's the other one I was. And we see ourselves 4 3 with Griffey having a one point lead as we get to our next question, Mark. Question six. Yeah, it's in the category of comedies. <laughs> Thank you. Who plays the lead role of Josh Kovacs alongside Eddie Murphy and Matthew Broderick in Tower Heist? I remember multiple laugh out loud moments because we also saw this in the theater together. And God, I think it was right after there. hernia surgery. Five, four, three, two, one. Pens down, please. And Griffey. Ben, ben Stiller? Stiller? Yes, Mark. Yes. Ben Stiller. I finally got a point. Okay, so 5-4, and we get to our next question. This is question number seven, the 1980s. Michael Crichton directed which 1984 sci-fi action film starring Tom Selleck that is set in the near future? I don't, I don't know about that... Uh that Michael Crichton he wrote a couple books I think too right five yes four three two one Mr. Hoy run away yes Griffey I got call my whiffed we're tied up here five five good battle they're both missed two so far and here is the next question this is um question eight that's right and it's in the category of horror slash thriller Venn diagram of those two, a little bit of overlap. Here's the question. Who plays Daniels, the chief of terraforming for the Covenant mission and the wife, widow, of the ship's captain, Jacob Branson, in the film Alien Covenant? That's Alien, another one I haven't seen. And then a colon Covenant. Counting down here. Christian, this is going to seesaw Five, back. Four. Three, two, one. Hands down, please. And Griffey. Catherine Waterston. Yes. And Mark. Numi Rapace. So Newman goes up there. Six, five, six, five. As we end round number one, tough first round. Uh, and they both battle it out with a one point lead here by Griffey as we get to the second round. Mark, what are the rules of round number two? All the movie answers mentioned in round one are bonus films as part of Movies Anywhere's biggest offer ever. And now we go to round number two. It's the wheel round. The wheel of fate, doom, and ultimately justice is usually it's served or something. You, had spin. you each do get a spin at that wheel. That's what's important. You spin it. You don't like what you spun. As long as it's not called opponent's choice, you can spin again should you want to. Once you do settle on a realm, you're going to hear four questions over there? in that world. Griffey's done doing the dishes. I'll continue. Each question's worth two points. There's no penalty for missing a question. There is no stealing, at least not in round number two. Oh, wait, it is round number two, so there is stealing. If you miss the question, your opponent can pick that one off. So maybe you want to ask us for multiple choice. That lessens the value of the question from two points to one. Surprise we give you four options, one of which is the correct answer. JTE rules intact. Challenge is still there. Hoik, newbie. I, I can't remember what he's supposed to be called, but Christian, downtown. Looking strong Griffey. and has a one point yeah. advantage. So, Griffey, it's your call. Do you want to spin that wheel first for your very first time or do you want to defer to the Enigma? It's a night of first and I would like to go first. All right, 60 seconds, Gooch, starting now. This is what we're doing. We're 86 yes. Mets in here. Or we're missing no. Mets. That's what we're doing. People ask Gucci, they're like, you go uptown? I'm like, nope. They're like, you go to midtown? I'm like, nope. I only go downtown. Now, no. now let me tell you this. <laughs> Great first round. Tough questions. You persevered. Like I knew you would. Fantastic stuff. Look, the unincredible uh, Hoik over here, you know, he's going to be finished. We're not worried about him. Uh, how do you feel? Feeling good? Unbelievable. Yeah, yeah it's probably the best out of my life so far. Perfect. Let's spin this wheel. All right, here's the wheel. Okay. And here is the spin. I spun it the wrong direction. Apologize for that. No, it's my fault. Yo. You know, just everything's backwards on screens. Like, a come on, wheel. Right, come we'll on, wheel. Some information on black, oh, cinema. black cinema is the category. You got 60 seconds to decide. Starting now. How do you feel about this? I think there might be yeah. something. I think there might be something better on there, but it's up to you. 
did some cramming with the team earlier today. I like mm -hmm. that it's a broad category. I like that mm -hmm. it's all-encompassing. There's technically a mm -hmm. hundred years of movies that can fall under there in a variety of genres. But, you know, we came here to play. Yes. We're feeling risky. Right. What's to lose? There's not a category on this wheel that I don't feel confident in to some degree or another. I want to take my chances. I want to spin again. That's facts. Let's do All it. All right. So Griffey is going to spin again. Downtown looking confident already, Mark. Someone who's only play never played the game. His first time we're playing. It seems like he's played many times before. Here's the spin. He hasn't blinked or he's wearing Yay! sunglasses. We can't see. Yeah! Okay. 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 Not, not a problem. Not a problem. Let's see what they, not see what they give us. Let's see what they give us. 60 seconds, guys, to decide what you want to give him. Hoik, I didn't know that uh, Gavin Newsom had a bastard child, but all that is really tracking. Um, opponent's choice. I don't know. He sounded like he loves everything on this wheel, but he didn't keep his first choice, which is black cinema. So should we hit him with it, or do you want to try something else? What do you think, him? I'm the man in black. Let's give him black cinema. Don't you dare disappoint us in black cinema. Thank you. Thank you. I appreciate it. exactly what I wanted. Everything is going according to plan. All right. So we are back here with Griffey. You chose or you got opponent's choice. And now you have four questions in the realm of black cinema. Are you ready? Absolutely. All right. Here's the first question. Who plays Star Carter's mother, Lisa Carter, in 2018's The Hate You Give? Multiple Regina, choice, please. Regina King. Is it A, Regina King, B, Issa Rae, C, Regina Hall, D, Taraj B. Henson? It's Regina Hall. I remember it's it Taraj from... B. Henson. That's incorrect. Uh, For the steal here, Mark, who plays Star Carter's mother, from Lisa Carter, session with in Brooke 2018's last night. The Hate You Give? Is it A, Regina King, B, Issa Rae, C, Regina Hall, D, Taraj P. Henson? Taraj A, Regina King. It's incorrect. Looking for C, Regina Hall. I knew it. So here is the second question. I knew question. it. Friendly note to compare. Roca didn't try know to keep it your hands where you can see him. Just I know it. No <laughs> asking of Jeeves or Googling going on. Thank you. Yes, thank you, Mr. So I got All right, myself go. a point. Cassie <laughs> Lemons directed Don Cheadle in what 2007 film about Washington, D.C. radio personality Ralph P.D. Green, an ex-con who became a popular talk show host? Uh, the name of the film is Talk To Me. That is correct. Two points. All right. Which actor appeared in the following films? Dolomite Is My Name, The Art of War, and New Jack City. Uh, that is the great Wesley Snipes. That is correct. All right. Question number three. Excuse me. Four. This is the final one. Who plays the titular undercover brother, also known as Anton Jackson, in the 2002 comedy Undercover Brother? Us Griffins keep tabs on each other. It's Eddie Griffin. Correct. So a tough first question, but it comes back strong and sees himself 12 to 5. So Newman has a really good showing there. All right, we're going to drop Griffey out and going to bring in Shannon 60 seconds starting now. Yeah, no worries there. Are you worried about it, Hoik? No. Okay, good. I wouldn't be. Stay locked in. Stay focused here. Let's do this. Let's bring on the wheel. And here is the spin. Pretty good maneuvering for opponent's choice by Groupie yeah. Noobs. See yeah. what Hoy can come back with. Looks like fantasy sci-fi. That's what it is. That's fantasy sci-fi. 60 seconds starting now. Talk to me. What are you thinking with this one? Spin it again. <laughs> All right, let's do it. All right, so now right, whatever short, he hits, he's got to take, and we'll bring back Griffey Noobs. Gained some risks taken on this wheel, Christian. So far, good. It's kind of a strategical kind of battle here, and disaster, disaster films. Film. All right, okay. so now Mark Hoyk will answer four questions, Mark, in the realm of disaster thing. films. Disaster films. Mark's asking, Mark's answering. Here we go, Enigma. Disaster films, four questions. Each one's worth two, including this first one. Who plays BP manager Donald Vidreen, who orders the well to be flowed in Deepwater Horizon? Mark Wahlberg. 
That is incorrect. So, Griffey for a steal. I'm going to give you the question again, then you can wager a guess. Who plays BP manager Donald Vedrine, who orders the well to be flowed in Deepwater Horizon? I believe the answer is John Malkovich. That's a gigantic steal for you, Christian. Big. Here's question number two. All right. Back to Mark Hoyk. In 2012's The Impossible, the Bennett family go on a Christmas holiday to what country? Multiple choice, please. Is it A, Indonesia, B, Vietnam, C, Thailand, or D, New Zealand? C, Thailand. That is correct for a big point there. Move on to your penultimate question. In the world of disaster films, who co-stars alongside Bill Paxton as Dr. Joe Harding in 1996's Twister? Helen Hunt. That is a correct answer to that film that is currently on Movies Anywhere. Your final question in round number two. Who directed Dwayne Johnson in 2018's Skyscraper? Rawson Thurber. That is correct for two more points. And Christian, a big steal from noobs early on against Hoyt, but then Hoyt sure comes back strong. Andreas no one's out of this contest yet. Not even close. It is a great match so far. 14-10. 14-10 as we get into the final round. Mark, what are the rules of round number three? It is the final round that will determine the match. There is, of course, the chance of sun death overtime. We're pretty sure we're prepared for that. But in the meantime, round three kicks off with three numbers from each of our competitors you give us a series of numbers these numbers can range from 1 to 20. each number corresponds to a unique category of movie trivia schmodown knowledge you may not pick the same numbers as your opponent your first question is worth two points your next one's worth three points your final question should we make it that far is worth five huge points griffy noobs you enjoy a four point lead going into round number three so you have the luxury of giving us your three lucky numbers first from one to 20 what feels fortunate uh, I would like to pick uh, 1, 9, and 19, please. 1, 9, and 19. 1, 9, and 19. 19 okay, 19. and for Hoik? 7, 17, and 5. 7, 17, and 5. All right, so now we are going to drop out Hoik and bring in Gucci. Boom. 60 seconds, starting Boom. now. Perfect stuff. Look, we're in a nice position here. Three JT rules left. We didn't use any. We know those. We have them. Didn't no multiple choice here. We don't need them. No. 14, 10. Let's make them answer some questions here and take this home. We'll take it downtown. That's exactly what we're going to do. Let's put. Let's hang a minus one on this guy. <laughs> Done right. deal. Poik, stay in the pocket, honey. You're down four points. I wouldn't be too worried about it right now. We know he's not perfect. We got that out of our systems. You just need to stay focused, stay in the pocket. Take your time with these questions, all right? Because we got to hit these. And I know, I know you can do this because you are a Beat the Geeks freaking genius, okay? Okay. Okay. So don't get rattled. Don't get nervous about it. Be okay. Just relax. I can tell you're more than relaxed. <laughs> I'm not going to try to tell you what to do here. You take the reins and you finish round three strong like I know you're going to do. All right, so our competitors are back in the ring. And now we start here. We start with Mark Hoyk is trying to avoid the TKO here. As we start with Mark, you have category seven. Category seven is your first one. And that is in the realm of Steven Spielberg. Steven Spielberg is your first one. Are you ready? Yes. Here you are. All right. Which actor plays the highly, highly advanced robotic boy David in Spielberg's AI artificial intelligence? Haley Joel Osment. For two points, that is correct. All right. So now, in order to bounce it back to Griff, you are going to now get four. Category four. Excuse me. Excuse me. Category 17. Category 17. And category 17 is in the realm of directors. All right. We're back to Steven Spielberg. He directed two films that were released in 2011. 
Name one of them. The Adventures of Tintin. That's one of them. Munich. It's incorrect. Looking <laughs> for either Warhorse or oh, The yes, Adventures right. of Tintin. Warhorse. I forgot so about Warhorse. So here's where we stand at the moment. Mark Hoyk needs to hit his five. If he hits his five, then it bounces back to Griff. However, if he misses, the Finstock Exchange and Griffey Newman will have a TKO victory. Here is the question. Category five, Mark. Oscar films. Oscar films. Here it is. For your five-point question. And here we go. Two movies share the record for the most Oscar nominations without a single win at 11 nominations each. Name one of them. What? The color purple. Correct. Whoa. That is correct. And he avoids the TKO massive. We would have accepted the turning point and, of course, the color purple. Correct. So now it is now Mark Hoyk with 17, Newman with 14. But Newman has a few chances to win the game here. So, Mark, he chose category number one. Yeah, he can climb closer to Hoyk's lead with this correct answer if he gets it, but not overtake it. This is for two points, and downtown selected number one. And that corresponds to the category of, it happens in subways from time to time, crime movies. And your question, for two points, what famous rap artist plays the character Doughboy in Boys in the Hood? Uh, that is Ice Cube. That is correct. All right, so Newman now has two opportunities to win the game he hits his three right now it's over and they get two big points however if he misses he still has his five to try to win the game he chose category nine I'm not sure who number nine corresponds to on the 86 mets but here it corresponds to the man i see every time i look in the mirror brad pitt for three points and the win downtown your question who directed brad pitt in 2011's Moneyball. That, that is Bennett Miller. And your winner, ladies and gentlemen, downtown Griffin Newman. Newman makes it two more points for the exchange. They take out corruption, but Mark Boyk does not go down without swinging. Big five-pointer by Hoyk, but Newman and the exchange take the win. Two more points coming off of that Ty Lieberman TKO yesterday, and he now today another win. All right, congratulations the, to downtown the and the exchange. Going to put you in the waiting room there to talk to Jen Sturger. Thank you guys. We'll see you in a sec. That was a fight. That was a fight. It was a scrappy fight, too, because it was like they both missed a few in the first. They missed a couple in the second. It wasn't like one of these, oh, it's a sloppy match. It was like, no, they missed that, but then they got that. They missed that, and then they got that. And it was like, it looked like, uh-oh, is Griffin going to have a problem in the black cinema category? He misses the first one, nails all the rest of them. Uh-oh, is Hoyk out of it? He missed that three-pointer. Must mean he doesn't yeah, know that yeah. Oscar one. Hits the Oscar one. That was an exciting match. Yeah. It was some match play I, I, in I golf terms, that. Christian, because a bogey yeah. might get made from time to time, but the next hole, you know you got an opportunity for birdie or even eagle, and we saw Hoyk certainly with a big five-point answer, but then Griffey Noobs, as I guess we now will be calling him <laughs> for the rest of the schmoke down in downtown's yeah. career, gets the W ultimately, and I know the conflict that is going on in your heart because it's the same one as mine. We love when new blood comes in and gets big wins early, but you almost hate to have to give his manager that much credit for what a draft he apparently did put together. It's nuts, and he still has more coming up here. I mean, he's got a lot of, he's got a few matches coming up that we just don't know what he's going to do, right? You have this match right now that he's got Lieberman. He had Lieberman versus Tingle just now. He's got some, uh, he's got Khan coming up against the flick pick pretty soon. How's that going to go down? I mean, 
yeah, he drafted fairly well. Fairly well, because you look what he's doing right now, and he's been carrying around that 86 Mets thing, and that's what he's been saying. But the thing is, as we saw with Radis and Jen Sturger, Jen Sturger is not about to let the Finstock Exchange do anything except crawl back into the hole sometimes, and that's what we're probably going to see here. But who knows? It seems like every Finstock Exchange member goes has some kind of rapport with Jen, so we'll see what's about to happen with her, Griff, and Gucci. Jen, as I say to you always, good luck. Good luck. Boom. What did I tell you? What did I tell you? Trust the process. Oh, Christian, I just, if this interview doesn't get me a raise, I honestly don't know what will at this point. Um, she should have gotten one up to the raise. Uh, anyways, uh, Gucci, it's always interesting to meet you here in the winner's circle, considering so many people were counting you out at the beginning of the season because they were looking at your draft going, what is this man doing? He's clearly had a couple, and yet here we are again. Hey, like I always said, trust the process. You know, look, people think uh, I'm an idiot, but they're dead wrong. Yes. They're, 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 they're dead wrong. Uh, why do I keep win uh, ending up in the winner's circle? Why, Jen? Ask, ask me that question. That's the question I want to be asked. Why do you keep ending up in the winner's circle, Gucci? Because I wear Gucci and I go downtown. Because I'm a winner. You don't even do. take the tags off your clothing. What are yeah, you Yeah, because doing? I'm a reseller. That's why. <laughs> it's a rocky that's economy. Else. That's exactly right. That's how you make money in these days. And that's how you win matches as well. Anyway, great. It's great hearing from you, Gucci. Let's, uh, let's talk to Griff for a second. Uh, were you ever at, at any point worried in that match? Because listen, you and Hoyk very much went back and forth there for a few minutes. Look, you know, am I the most confident man in the world, uh, blessed to be completely free of any anxiety or worry in all areas of my life? Yes. yes. Of course. <laughs> but I'm not an idiot. I know who I was going up against. You know, Harlov started hearing the buzz. He started hearing that I was a rookie to watch. I'm a high number pick. And so they put me up against a pro. They didn't let me off easy. Most people get a layup for their first match, and I did not. I respect my competitor. He's a great competitor. As I said, I've been watching his work for decades, but I came to win today. I came to win. Was I Is scared? It? I'm scared every morning when I get out of bed. You take the risk. You never know if you're gonna make it through the day. Mm -hmm. That doesn't mean that I lacked confidence. That's the truth. You know, there's been a lot of talk on you, though. A lot of high praise actually being heaved your way. I, does that, do you want to compete for titles? Like, what? what's your end goal here? Like, is it just for singles? Tell the people uh, a little bit more about yourself. Sure. Uh, I have now spent a full year as a single man with no roommates alone in an apartment in a pandemic. I, I was and talking about much... your competition, <laughs> but okay. No, 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 I know, I know. But what I'm saying is, what are my ambitions here? What do I want to do? I'm looking for anything to distract me from the endless void, okay? Sky's the limit here. I'm trying to keep myself busy. I'm not going outdoors. I'm scared of the air. I don't have that vaccine, okay? So who knows where this goes? And you live in a subway, I agree. apparently. Even when we're here, we're more here. I'm, you I'm, what I'm saying? here. Yeah, no, yes. I actually don't. You look, like a poor, you look like a poor man's Ted Lasso, buddy. That's <laughs> here. Please, the ensemble you're putting together. And you clearly picked him up. I picked him up at a women's He's the number one trying pick. to pick up women. Yeah. He's the number one pick. Oh. He's the best player you know in the what? whole draft. You know what, though, Gucci? I hate to say this. You you look kind of like a mad genius right now. You look crazy, too, but also yeah. a mad genius. Um, um, I, hey, look. Everything... The way we put together everything from the dossier, the when dossier. Griffin Newman's name came up, in the summary, it says, this man can beat Dan Merle. And that's all I needed to see. And I was like, you know what? I was surprised that he, did, he wasn't drafted number one, number two, number three, or number four. So when he was there at number five, it was the easiest choice in the world. The easiest choice in the world. And like I said, Come January, we're going to see everybody at the podium. He's going to have a belt. I'm going to win my unprecedented fourth manager of the year, whether Roxy or Plastic Crown Shannon thinks <laughs> otherwise. Trust me. 
we're all going to be up there celebrating faction of the year, manager of the year, player of the year, match of the year, and everything else of the year. <laughs> Guaranteed. Definitely well, interview of the I year. I guess we'll see here, won't we? Gucci, great to see you as always. Uh, congratulations, uh, Griff. Do you have any final words for us before I let you go? Yeah, uh, once again, uh, fully a year now. Uh, this week marks a year of me barely leaving my apartment. I am losing my goddamn mind. I'm ready to put all of my energy into this competition because I have nothing else. Boom. He's got the fin stack exchange. <sighs> Christian, boom. Back to the boom. desk. <laughs> Every time she's with the Finstock Exchange, I feel like I'm paying for more therapy. So there you go. So Jen Sturger, thank you so much as you look, she's not wrong. She's not wrong. Gucci, everyone was looking at him, pointing at him, laughing at him, saying, who are you picking? Nobody knows who these people are like that. Wait, that guy. Yeah, I, I remember he I, I think Christian interviewed him for a show. But is he good at trivia? Nah. Nah. Well, he's wrong. Everyone was wrong because Newman's for real. All he's of you are wrong! Uh, you know, you look at all these people that he's drafted so far, even Brother Lomas with that loss, it came very, very close and with controversy, you know? So there's a, he's he's doing he's doing the right thing. It's just unfortunate that it's him. Uh, but, you know, this was a good match on both sides. Fun one to call, certainly. Yeah. And as far as downtown's life situation goes, there's worse things to use as a port in a storm than movies and watching cinema. So I guess we're actually doing a good thing by having the Schmodown him to be his safe harbor. Right. But Mark Hoyk also lives on Island Schmodown, and he might have his own enigmatic corner of it. But I don't think you're going to see him relaxing in there for too long. I, I expect to see a lot more of Hoyk this season because I think that today's match and maybe tasting that loss gave him even more of a competitive drive to get back in the ring and score some points for his beloved queen of corruption. That's right. Well, look, we're going to find out exactly how. I mean, I always get nervous anytime corruption doesn't win because it just means that there's some fire coming out of Shannon's ears and especially with some of the stuff that's been going on lately. I'm sure it's adding just a little bit more. So we are going to be talking with Jen, who is with both Mark Hoyk and Shannon. Shannon, Mark, tough loss today. Uh, I, I know, Hoyk, you really didn't get a ton of reps last season. Do you feel like any of that played into effect today? First, I would like to apologize to Griffey for dead naming him at the beginning of our match. Uh, considering that uh, the schmo down can't spell my own name right, it should be a proper, respectful thing for me to get his name correct. That out of the way. It's very mature of you. Thank you. You got lucky, Griffey. You're the new kid in town, and you scored one against an old dog. Congratulations. You should be happy. But know this. I've been here 20 years and counting before there was a schmodown, before there was even a Beat the Geeks. I bear the scars. I bear the humiliation. And I still stand here. And I am still looking into you. And I see that you are about to get cocky. You are about to start thinking that you are the king of the playground. And the reality is... You, Caesar knew that fame was fleeting, and that's why they gave him a laurel wreath. So we're already in March, so the Ides aren't coming for you now, but you're going to have to defend your new momentum while I have my legacy and I have what is the best manager in this organization, Shannon Barney. And as always, evil is patient. Shannon, obviously a rough start for corruption so far. Does this loss hurt a little bit more because it's to Gucci? Well, let me say something about Gucci here. First of all, if he wants to keep that helium filled bobblehead attached to his neck, he better not come after me the way he thinks he can right now. Uh, this is not a good time to mess with me, Gucci, and you know that. 
But Shannon, this is a position that you're very familiar with. This is the same thing that happened last season. It's like you mm-hmm. took a really couple hard losses in the beginning, and then it's just like you picked up momentum as the season's got. Are you just a slow starting faction? I guess we are, but you know? Go- I'm okay with a slow burn. Hey, I don't mind it, you the know? The tortoise Being won the race. That this That's seems so familiar see. to last year the doesn't frighten me at all. The um, won our the race. whole faction, we play strategically. And if you look at our losses, a loss is a loss is a loss. And, and we understand that. But they've all been very, very close. And I get it. Almost doesn't count. Only in horseshoes and hand grenades. I understand. But we've got some real talent that we have developed on this team that are playing at incredibly high levels. Luckily for Gucci, he got every single rookie that he wanted. And they're all doing great. But that doesn't mean corruption's out. We're never out. It it doesn't matter what's happening now because we win where it counts. And we've got tournament season coming up. And if you recall, that is where we hit our stride. That is where we get our points. That is where we go from the bottom to the top. So today, yeah, does it suck to lose? Obviously it sucks to lose. Does it suck to lose to Gucci who has half a brain? Yes, it does. Is it disappointing that Mark didn't get the win that he deserved after being here all these years? Yes, it's disappointing. Not for me, he played great, but I can imagine that he's pretty pissed off right now. And pissing off the Enigma actually kind of scares me. So I don't think we're gonna see the last of Mark Hoyk. I don't think you're done with corruption. I don't think we're in the pits. I don't, I, whatever, whatever. Great. So, Hoyk, I have to ask you, uh, you know, obviously you have a lot of options on the table still. You know, there's teams, there's free for all. Are these things that are crossing your mind right now in terms of like what your path's going to look like through the Schmodown this season? The free for all is coming up. If I am lucky enough to be in there, you're going to see my endurance, the same kind of endurance that has kept me going for over the years in and out of the limelight. And remember, you can never keep the dev- you can never keep the devil in the hole com- forever. Uh, Shannon, off topic here before I let you go. Um, I have to ask you about Grace. I've noticed that she's been making it a little more difficult for you than others. You know, um, finding you reprimands. Like, any comment about it at all? Yeah, Jen. I'd really just love to say no comment. <laughs> okay. Um, thanks, Shannon. Mark, um, back to the desk. No comment. How often does that happen? Uh, it, it doesn't. It doesn't. So strange season. Either way, uh, it is an interesting season. It is an exciting season. And boy, was it an exciting match here today. Downtown Griffey, new, the new, newbie, Newman, Newman. What, what do we say, Mark? What do we call him? <laughs> I'm not building out of this. I don't know. Just call him downtown. Downtown, Griffey Noobs, he does it. He does it. He takes the victory. He's the number one uh, choice, and he does it for the exchange. But he has to do it against a very game opponent inside of uh, Mr. Mark Edward Hoyk, the Enigma, showing exactly why he is as scary as as people should take him. You know, And he would mentioned, or Jen mentioned, the free-for-all. That's coming up. Are we going to see downtown inside the free-for-all? Don't know. Are we going to see the Enigma? Not sure, but you guys will see 40 competitors, 40 competitors all going at it. There's going to be five that start at the table. The lowest amount of points gets eliminated and they keep on coming in until the last person standing will get a title shot in any division of their choosing and an opportunity to pick up seven points for their faction. It's going to be interesting. All you got to do is go to the schmodownlive.com, get your tickets today, or become a $10 patron, patreon.com slash schmodown. Free for all, one of the most fun events for you and I to announce. There's so many surprises and twists and turns, zigs and zags, and one time we had a guy pee himself on stage. Hopefully that doesn't happen again. It's virtual, so at least we don't have to clean it up this time. Either way, the free for all, very, very exciting, as was this match. Downtown Griffey Noobs, a newcomer not to be messed with in the Enigma. Well, it maybe took a loss today, but I think that it just fortified his and Corruption's resolve. So thanks to everyone behind the scenes at Skybound helping make Christian and I look semi-competent, our amazing writing staff, the competitors' managers here today, and our friends at Movies Anywhere, bringing all your favorite movies together in one convenient place. Christian, it was a fun one. It was a really fun one. Very excited. Also, as Mark said, please go check out our friends over at Movies Anywhere, and thank you for checking us out here at the Movie Trivia Schmodown. Click a like, leave a comment, do the whole thing. Get more people talking about the Movie Trivia Schmodown and the league. So many great competitors. Wednesday, 
Thursday, Friday. Those are the matches that happen on YouTube, on Movie Trivia Showdown. You want to check out the First Class League? It has begun. And you go on over I to Twitch, to the Schmodown these, Twitch channel, every YouTube Tuesday, 3 p.m. PST. And you're going to get two big matches from the First Class League. Find the Schmodown stars of tomorrow over at the First Class League. Do it and let the English see you do it. What movie is that from? You know, it's from uh, Braveheart. You could go to FCL and see a kid hold a broom like Broom Kid. That's right, Broom Kid. Well, thank you guys so much. Thank you for Mark, Baby Carrots, Eris, Ellis, Eris. Jen Sturger, the whole crew over at Skybound, Gucci, Noobs, Mark Hoyk, the whole damn crew. Thank you guys so much, Shannon Barney and everybody. So thank you guys very, very much. We appreciate it. And we'll see you tomorrow. Tomorrow. Okay, uh, something that I wasn't really thinking of until uh, Christian said it. It was a very, uh, it wasn't a sloppy match. Just like he said, it was, he misses the question, that guy gets it right. That Then they, then uh, he misses the question, he gets it right the next round. It was a very dynamic match, which surprises you a lot. Uh, it's, a very, oh, it's always a pleasure to see when these things happen. In any case, I got only three questions right in this match, which is now tied for my worst match of the year, which uh, then another match I got only three questions right was uh, uh, the Kid versus the Cobra, I believe. But uh, yeah, I'm going to shake it off. I'm going to do a little bit of a change of uh, clothes and uh, get ready for the final match I will be reacting to tonight. And uh, yeah, that's it for now, I suppose. So I'll see you all sometime later this week after i will after this minute after the next one in any case so uh yeah see you guys in the next match and until next time everybody shamow down hello again everybody i really hope you enjoyed this video because i really enjoyed making it so if you like what you've seen here please remember to like share comment and subscribe for more awesome content like this so, until next time, guys, I'll see you guys next time.